Hi, this video is for Kimberly. I'm trying to create um, a video on how to use my bottle cap template with um, Photoshop. I know you have elements and it's probably going to be somewhat similar. I don't know what its limitations are going to be, but I only have Photoshop so I'm going to do my best to show you how uh, I create something using the uh, bottle cap template. So here you can see uh, the transparency here. You can select your view here so you can see the background. Basically, I just opened it and it becomes layer zero over here. Uh, you might want to, I don't know how it is on the um, on elements, but uh, I'll do my best. What I did was I opened all the little pictures that I want to use. For right now, I'm just going to you know, use these seashells and stuff, and I think I have some starfish, and, and uh, there's, I just opened up way too many that it's like <laughs> hanging on across the side over here. Um, I also opened up a background that I could use, and basically I would duplicate the layer and put it into the bottle cap template, and press OK, and now when I go to my bottle cap template, then you see that the background is basically on top of the bottle cap. The bo This bottle cap template always has to be on the top. So let me see if I can shrink the stripes down just a hair. Um, make the width maybe like 50. Is that too much? No, it's actually like that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, the background was a 12 by 12 originally. So um, I'm just kind of shrinking it down a little bit and then I'm going to start putting in my other pictures. I mean you could do this yeah, lots of different ways. If you want a single square to be a particular color, what you would do is create a new layer here and then select your um, your rectangular marquee tool and then bring the uh, square over it like that. And either you can do it a couple of ways. Here I would go image, fill, and then you could fill it with a color, say, you know, I want to pick this color and then press OK, and then it would get filled with that color. But see, everything remains under this original layer so that um, you always have your perfect circles all the way around. And then, um, yeah, you can always take that out. And then whatever pictures you want to insert in there, you would grab them, duplicate the layer, put them into the bottle cap template, and then obviously resize them. Hold on, let me get rid of this. Okay, this thing is on here. Uh, what I press is, um, I think Control D makes it disappear. There you go. So then um, I'm going to grab this one and then holding Shift so that it retains its um, the original uh, dimensions. And um, I think that's the right word. I don't know. Sometimes I <laughs> sometimes I make up words. <laughs> okay. So then you would kind of fit it in there. And then, um, so that you keep its ratio, that's what I meant to say. It's a little stupid sometimes. Okay. <laughs> and then, you know, press OK. Then you move on to the next uh, image that you want to put into the next one. And then you put it there. And then. <laughs> oh, sorry. It goes into the bottle cap template. I'm already screwing up. Okay. I just find it a little funny that. Most people ask about these bottle caps when this is like not really what I usually do. So, <laughs> I mean, I work on a lot of graphic stuff, but I don't know why bottle cap stuff seems to be very, very popular. Um, yeah, especially stickers. I actually wanted to come up with a new um, uh, customizable sticker sheets you know, for teachers and stuff like that is hopefully my next project sometime soon. But I'm still working on the party templates, so it's gonna take a little while. <laughs> but um yeah, so basically you, that's how you kinda put in, you know, whichever um see here's my layer and it kinda went under these two layers when I move them over. So all you gotta do is move them up. Now if you decide to move this it's not gonna you know the, it's not gonna go over the edges instead. Well, I, I hope you got it. Uh, if you didn't, let me know and I will walk you through it or make you another video or something. And I thank you so much for subscribing and your comments 
and your encouragement and your support and all that good stuff. Um, I love each and every one of you. It is awesome. I, I love what I do. Thank you for letting me do this. Thank you.